This is Tara Naomi. You're watching Ask a Wannabe Rockstar. Um, I haven't made a uh, filmed an episode in in a little while, so I figured I would do that tonight. But it's kind of late here, so we have to be quiet. Um, I want to answer some emails. Uh, the first one's from Angel. Hi, Angel. Uh, oh, Angel just had a birthday. Angel's birthday was July 20th. Happy birthday. We kind of missed it, but that's cool. Happy birthday anyway. Um, and uh, Angel asks, when, writing, when you're writing your songs and thinking of the rhythm, what do you think about? Because when I write a poem or make some music, I think of a moment in my life or a topic that moves me, and the words and rhythm just come to me. Is it the same for you? Um, yeah, a lot of the time what happens is I will just get kind of uh, a phrase uh, or a bunch of words in my head that kind of have a melody attached at the same time. And it happens at the same time and then I uh, build the song around that idea. Um, what do you do to help or prepare your voice? Uh, because I usually just drink a lot of water to hydrate my voice and practice the song over and over. Um, I do specific vocal exercises, especially since my voice, um, since I got, after I got sick and lost my voice, um, I've had to do some exercises to make it come back and uh, be really careful with it and make sure that I don't um, stress it out too much or scream too much, you know. Um, I don't usually scream, just occasionally. Um, so, yeah, and I drink a lot of water. And, uh, and try to get a lot of sleep, although that hasn't been happening lately, but sleep and water are really good for your voice. So, um, thanks for the questions, Angel. Uh, okay, the next one comes from Eddie from New York City. Hey, Eddie. Um, I love New York City. Uh, can we get a close-up of the tattoo on your left arm shoulder? see. I'm sort of wearing this shirt. I don't know if it'll work. Mm -hmm. There it is. Can you see it? I can't get the top because my shirt sleeve won't go all the way up. There it is. There's the top. It's a little thing that I drew. Um, I was waiting tables at this restaurant in the West Village called Urban Kitchen. Um, it was organic, and uh, it's not around anymore, closed, but um, I was bored, <laughs> and I was drawing instead of working, and I drew it. Um, what's your favorite food slash meal? Do you eat fast food? Um, I don't eat fast food. Um, I'm kind of scared of it, to be honest, uh, and I want to see Fast Food Nation, and then I think I'll be even more scared of it, but... Um, my favorite food or meal, um, I love Indian food. That's probably one of my favorite foods. Um, yeah, I'd say Indian food. I love Indian. And I know how to cook it too. Um, what kind of acoustic guitar do you recommend to learn on? Uh, any guitar that you can play when you're learning because some you'll find that some are a lot easier to play than others and uh, you want it to be kind of easy when you're first learning because you don't have the, the strength or the coordination in your hands to um, you know to handle a guitar that is maybe a little bit harder to play um, so yeah ovation for me that was really easy to play and that was the first guitar that I got and that was the guitar that I learned how to play on. So it's nice because it has kind of a narrow, thin neck and uh, low action. So the strings are kind of low to the um, to the fret board. I guess I'm getting all technical, um, but it makes it easy to play. Um, and uh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. This one comes from Dave. Hi, Dave. Um, I was just wondering, do you write all your own music? 
Yes, I do. Occasionally, um, I will write a song with a friend if we decide to write together. Um, and I've written a couple, co-written a couple songs with my producer, Paul Fox. Um, but most of the time I just write by myself. And um, you're not, uh, the second question is, you're not 100% American, are you? Because in some songs I can hear a bit of Spanish or foreign accent. Um, that might just be my strange pronunciation. Because <laughs> yes, I am 100% American. Um, for better or for worse. Uh, third, why the hell are you not famous yet? Um, <laughs> don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> uh, I'm happy, so that's really all that matters. Um, maybe you should try selling some albums online because I'd buy two copies. Uh, one for my dog. <laughs> Great. Um, well, I actually do have... Um, a new CD that I just uh, put online, well I put the ordering, ordering information online yesterday. So it's on my YouTube profile and it's also on my website TaraNaomi.com and um, you can order it there. So thanks for asking. Um, I think that's it for now and uh, I just want to say thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos and um, give me a reason to film these silly little shows <laughs> and oh I also want to say this necklace I love this necklace both of these these are made by a friend and she has a website she makes all this amazing jewelry and sends it to me to wear and I wear it on stage a lot and um, it's called bead of the soul so it's uh, b-e-a-d of the soul, S O U L, beat of the soul .com. And she really has amazing designs, and uh, her website just launched. So I wanted to let everyone know because I get so many questions about the necklaces that I wear, and uh, I'd say 90% of the time they're made by Leslie. So um, for anyone who wants to know, there's the answer. And uh, I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a great night. And I'll see you soon. Bye.